Welcome to lesson two of Courting with Christmas. In this lesson, we're going to be learning Oh Christmas Tree. In our last lesson, we learned Jingle Bells. So this particular sheet um, is available in two versions. We have the fully notated standard sheet version that's a lead sheet, and we also have this big note lead sheet with all the letters written inside for people who might be struggling a little bit with note recognition. Um, and at the back of our PDF, there is two appendices that we'll be also using as we progress through this lesson. So I'm going to use this big note sheet just because it's easier for us to see while I teach it, but I'm going to teach it at three different levels. Basic, um, chord notated, and then fully sort of arranged with some voicings. So let's go ahead and start off with just the most basic version of this, which is playing the lead sheet with melody in the right hand, and then using the chord symbols above the melody to play the chords uh, for the piece. But we're only going to just think play a single note for each chord. That's the easiest way we can do this. And if I look at the notes that are required for this, I see C and G and D with a little M after it. And those are the only letters that I see. So if I place my hand right here, I can reach the C and the G and the D quite easily. All right, so let's get started nice and slow. I'm gonna play um, my G with my five, and my C with my two, and my D with my one. And I'll start the melody. So C, now G, and C again. Now D, and now G, and C. You see how that works? I'm playing the left hand, the single chord note. And now D, and a G in the left hand, and now a C in the left hand. Next page, C, and now a G, a G again, and back to C. Now C, and G, C. Now D, now G, and back to C. So that is the most basic version that we have to offer. Now we're going to ramp it up a level and we're going to play the triads for these notes. So we're going to first play the C chord and then the G chord. And we might play the D minor. Well, we will play the D minor, which is D, F, and A. It's got a little bit of a dark sound. Now there's a chord that's called G7 and we're going to actually play the G7 like this, which is just uh, B, F, and G. So let's go ahead. Uh, G7 is actually a G major chord with an extra minor third on the top, just in case you're wondering. It's a four note chord, and we're gonna take the G and put it at the top. And we're just gonna leave the D out. Makes it a little easier to play. So that happens on page two, so don't worry about that quite yet, but let's start and play just basic chords. And we're gonna jump to G and back to C. So I'm playing three note triads. Now D and G and C a bit of jumping around, but I just target that note that's on the bottom of each triad. So I target D, target G, and then target the C. And again, next page is C. Now here's that G7 that I told you about. So I've just got my F and G with a B on the bottom. And back to C. C, now down to G, I'm back to C. D minor, G, and C. So that's level two, uh, and now I'll show you level two B. And then we're just going to grab our chord inversion voicing sheet that comes as an appendix at the back of this uh, PDF. And you can see here that instead of jumping down to G, we can play this G chord with keeping the G on the top and playing the B and the D on the bottom, and then back into C. If you have some trouble with chords, you might want to go back to Unit 5 of Year 1. And in Lesson 1, we talk about all of the major triads. In Lesson 3, we talk about all the minors. So here we have D minor. We're actually going to continue to move up. And then the G will be in this voicing. So you can see here we have two different voicings for a G chord, down here and up here. Because when we came from D minor, it was much more convenient to play G and B. 
right here, and the D was already being played. And then we had that C to G7 to C, which we've already learned. So you can practice this line of voicings, and then we can apply those in our piece of music. So starting at the beginning, we're going to start in root position, normal little triad position with your left hand, and play C. Now for G, we just have to open our hand down a little bit. Did you see that? So a C triad, then open down a little bit, and then back in. Now D minor, we're going to go up, but for G, we're just going to reach for it there, and then we're going to back to C. And here we go again. We're going to go down for G, we're going to move up a note to D minor, and then reach up for G, and back to C chord. Next page. And then G7. This is just like the first time through, and now we'll have G reaching down and back to C, and up to D minor, and open up for G, and then back to C. So that's level 2B of O Christmas Tree, and now we'll go on to level 3. And in this level, we're going to use our chord arrangement patterns. So you can see this is another one of our appendices at the back of the booklet. And this is basically how we were playing these chords before, which was just holding them and sometimes using them in arrangements. We're only going to think about our chords in root position. We're not going to be using any of these close positions or voicings that we just used in the previous um, appendix page on voicings. This time, we're going to play the notes um, in a different combination. Same notes, but different order. So we could play them like this, we could play them like this, we could play them like this. Now all of these have four beats in a measure, and there's really only three beats in a measure for this piece, so those might not be the best choices. But we could try this one, where we play C, G, and C. And we would just play them quicker and then hold. This adds up to four, the way it's written, but we could just do um, quick, quick, slow as we play through the piece. And or we could also just play the three notes of the triad, or the bottom top top, or the bottom two tops. And this is the same thing we just saw here without the note holding, or we could just play a full octave uh, without anything in the middle. So let's see what we think. Let's give it a try. Um, I'm inclined to try this one here in the middle of line two, three, and it's just that uh, reach up. Kind of like this one, but it's going to go quick, quick, slow. So it would be like this. Oh, Christmas. And then D. And then just the note G. Just the note G, and then D minor, and just the G. I kind of like that. What do you think? Um, let's just see what other options. We don't need that. Other options we might try. Um, let's try that. That's just your basic triad. You don't have to reach for this one. using pedal. You don't have to do that. You might notice that I sort of changed this rhythm to fit in with what my left hand was doing. Previously I was playing with a long quick hold. Here I was going even hold and even hold. And just like this one. See, this one's written evenly compared to this long quick hold. Okay, let's go on to the next page. The, hmm. So let's try using this big reaching one. Now for the G7, something interesting happens here. Instead of playing another G on top, we play the seventh, which is F. So this is a sort of advanced concept, but I think you can handle it. So we're going to have C, and then G7, which is G, D, F. G, D, F. And then C, reaching up. Now I'm playing the rhythm as written. And then just a G, 
and then sometimes I can't talk and play at the same time. We're all human. Sometimes I play wrong notes. It's okay. Um, so let's go back through and play this whole thing again with a combination of those two types of um, of chord patterns. And come on back for lesson three. Next lesson is going to be Deck the Halls. We're going to play in two levels, uh, in two versions, in three levels. So there's something here for everyone. And here we go. Thank you. 